Today, after a long time, I posted something again in the FS5 group on Facebook, a reply to an Italian fella who was asking whether he should invest in a ProRes recorder with no monitoring capabilities for the FS5 or not. And I told him that the XAVCL of the FS5 is actually very, very good and it's not really necessary. And he was like, no, I can see, I can sense, I can feel a difference between uh, ProRes recording from the uncompressed uh, SDI output and um, the internal XAVCL. And I, I just wanted to react on that because we got some time today. Mm. And I did the following. I recorded some imagery in um, S-Log3 just to see whether there's a, a difference um, between the two recordings because you can easily find that out. It's not rocket science. So this is a rather complicated picture. I was blowing some, some seeds across the image and there's a lot of movement so probably the inferior XAVCL um, would provide a much worse result. Now this is the um, recording done by the um, Atomos Inferno and below that there's the XAVCL recording that I transcoded to ProRes by using EditReady. Okay. So, let's take a look. It's a very complicated picture. It's a big challenge for XAVCL. And the easiest way to actually find out uh, whether or not, you can see it's the same frame, whether or not the codec is really inferior is by going to compositing mode and then choosing subtract. And that should show you the exact differences in the image. And even though this is the scene with a lot of complicated movement, you can see there's hardly any difference. There is hardly any difference. On the scopes, you can see that there is some difference in the very blacks, which might be due to SDI conversion, but else the images are just identical. Because if I just go ahead and shift the image just by one frame, you can already see a lot of difference. Visible difference. But between um, direct ProRes recording, 10-bit 422 and XAVCL, I can't say a lot of difference. Now you might say, okay, 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 but that's just because the um, S-Log hasn't been decoded yet. So uh, let me just fire up the LUT utility and we choose one of those S-Log LUTs. So let's go S-Log film one over. Let's choose that one. And now I'll copy the same onto the other clip. And still I can't see any difference. Well, maybe the other thing sharpens better. So, um, let's add some sharpening then to both of the clips. Switch them both on. There is, again, no visible difference. If I would turn sharpening off here, yeah, I actually see what sharpening does. But once I switch it on, it even sharpens the same way. So we just have to see that a lot of things that we think are so important are actually just felt or tricks played by our brain. There is no perceivable difference. Maybe in regards to noise, maybe some of the really low things, but it, it doesn't really matter. As I said, shifting it by one makes a bigger difference. Switching the lot off makes a difference. Switching sharpening off makes a minor difference depending on the degree of the sharpening. But that's about it.
Thank you.